So I want to share with you today the chipping tip and pitching, but predominantly chipping that has revolutionized my chipping, something that was definitely a weak side. It was always a strong side in my game, and then as I got to middle age and stopped playing as much, got busy with other things, it got bad. Like really bad, but I'm better now, and I want to share with you what made me better, because it helps my students, and I think it will help you, because I know lots of you out there struggle with your chip shot. I would struggle with fins, you know, stood here wanting to hit a shot, and then I just fin it across the green, infuriating, as well as those horrible fats, you know, the diggy fats that just don't go anywhere. I, I was there, and it's horrible, because I could be here with a great drive on a 370 yard par four, and then I'm just like making bogeys from nowhere. Where well, now I'm seeing landing spots, I'm seeing slope, I've got my imagination coming back, and that all comes back because my strike is in a more consistent spot. I actually feel like I'm going to make a contact, which then allows me to see a landing spot, see a rollout. All those things that we teach you, you know, you've got to see your landing spots, got to read the green. Yeah, I get that, but when you're panicking, like I panic, I know lots of you do with chipping, and you're scared you're just going to duff it here and look stupid, the last thing you're thinking about is a landing spot. You're just trying to hit the green. Now, the big breakthrough for me is around my lead arm and left side, lead side. Understanding how this was paralyzing me has allowed me to turn it off, stop it from paralyzing me, and actually getting it to assist what I want my whole body to do, rather than put me in a position that makes my whole body not really function for the job that I'm trying to achieve. What I found, and I find it with students, not everybody, but lots of students, the more nervous I got, the more anxious I got, the more I would lock this left arm out, really straighten it up, getting me to tilt a long way this way, making me get my hips go forward quite early, then the club not really bottoming out in the right place, so I, then I kind of give it this flick, you get that kind of knee jab. We've all seen the horrible knee jabby chips, haven't we? Now the next thing that happens with locked lead arm, so lead arm getting really tense and locked, is it tends to shove the club behind me, so as I start my downswing it tends to really drop behind me, which encourages it to bottom very early. I'm out early and I work with the greenkeepers. Bottoming that club out really early is the recipe for fats and fins. So where I am now, which is literally changing everything, is my lead arm, I've softened it way off, so almost to the point where I got it connected to my chest and then it breaks to come into my club to hold on. And then as I swing, I'm trying to keep it very relaxed and bent and connected to this lead side. So what an effect to me it feels like I, these are just terms, this isn't what I do, but I feel like I can press my lead side, lead arm as well, to then extend out of my lead side with my lead arm staying connected to my body. So I feel now like I'm going basically this way to chip, which takes out all this action. What it also does is it allows me to keep that club a little bit more out in front of my hands for a bit longer, which creates a way better low, low point, and we start getting Oh, crisp, nippy, beautiful strikes. Different lies, different loss. I can use this idea. And what happens, because my lead arm is so much more relaxed, I feel way more relaxed, like I get the tension out of my body. But it's the lead arm that was encouraging this. It was also encouraging this, which bottoms out early. Taking that literally out, so it feels almost like a trail arm shot with the lead arm just along for the ride. Oh, striking it, striking it. I'm using this technique with any loft, so I can use a 50 degree, same idea, just obviously gonna go in a little bit lower and run up. I can go in lower still, so I can go handle forwards, pressure forwards, left arm nice and relaxed, compress and extend, goes in lower and runs up. I can do that with my 58. Same ideas, I can lob it. Same idea, relaxed lead arm, really letting it connect up to my chest so the body rotation's in there. And I start going up for the high lobs again. I've hit how many chips here? Apart from my demo duff, but I let the greenkeeper won't even know, me. that's why we're mates. He won't even know I've been here because my inoffensive connection to the ground with the bottom of the club is allowing me to strike more shots, allows me to see more curves, slopes, landing points, all through softening lead arm, feeling like I go into lead arm, lead side, and then get out. Give it a go. Honestly, 
Oh, I love my chipping now. I love it. If you want to improve your striking with all your irons, make sure you check this video out. It's helping so many golfers.